Good evening to you. Uh, my name is John Vanier. I believe I may have disturbed a lady at this house. Ah, there she is. Please forgive me, though you barely gave Sir, me a chance. Sir, I do not believe we have been introduced. He is engaged, you know. Mr. Barrisford's daughter. The carriage maker. He might have set his sights a little higher. Mr. Davinia, find yourself in her vicinity again, and I will make you rue the day you ever set eyes on me. What of your mother? He cannot overlook your mother's origins as I do. I know very little of her other than the colour she has given me. Why should anyone even pay her regard? And at least you know she was beautiful. I could fall in love with such a man, Dido. And you shall feel no such sentiment. For you shall either end up poor or broken hearted. Despises love as though it were the devil's own creation. Love! You can't love, love her! Yes. yes! I love her! I love her with every breath I breathe! Go, oh, John. You do not deserve this. If I had your choice, I would choose the man I loved. I simply hope he's worth it. The world is devastating. You must learn to protect your emotions if you wish to prevent matters both of law and love from devastating you. My greatest misfortune would be to marry into a family who would carry me as their shame. If you will pardon me for wanting a husband who feels forgiveness of my bloodline is both unnecessary and without grace. I've not changed my mind. She is to marry a gentleman. And Mr. De Vinier is not a gentleman. He is indeed. My affections are with him, Papa. I wish for nothing if not to be his wife. Could it be true that you would be my wife? Because, because I cannot conceive of a life without you. you are, and with all 